jelly friends it's me welcome to my channel and today i am unboxing a package it's from aliexpress but it is from a vendor who is sending me a replacement piece that they hadn't sent me in the last order so if you recall my video uh, with pumpkin my little bjd she was placed on a smaller a shorter chubbier body than what was advertised and but with her they sent the thin tall body dress anyway this is the replacement dress that will fit pumpkin uh, however they also they kind of had this thing where you know i pay like i don't know a dollar and they'd ship it to me or i could purchase something additional and then they would toss it in that package for me well they didn't have listed on their shop site any outfits that would fit the little squatty bodies, but the seller I was dealing with sent me some images of different outfit sets that would work for the little chubby body. And so I purchased a summer outfit and it even came with a wig. So I am excited to look at that. Now I actually am pretty happy with how Pumpkin looks in her outfit. <laughs> I know I went to all the trouble to complain just to like the outfit that I got. But this girl, Penelope, she I think needs a different outfit uh, than this white. It's pretty on her, but I think the outfit I got, it's a floral and purple. It's gonna be really cute on her. So that's my plan. And then the other outfit that's coming in, in this package, I was gonna put on her sister, Penny but it's a summer outfit, so I'm gonna do that a little later. Actually, the biggest issue I had with the outfit they sent me for pumpkin, it's not really the outfit per se, it was the shoes. The shoes were far too small, and so they made sure to send me shoes. Fingers crossed they're the right ones. We'll find out. All right, so first let's look at the outfit they sent me as a replacement. Okay, so we're gonna look at the shoes first since that's the biggest deal I had. And these are definitely bigger. And look, they have a little teddy bear. That is really cute with a Kind of a pinkish purple color behind it these are definitely gonna fit they're definitely bigger and then the dress is similar style it's just it's a shorter dress and it's got the purples it's kind of see-through actually well she has underwear at least and then it ties at the top much like uh how pumpkins does the yellow she also has the little shawl i don't know shrug whatever you want to call it she has socks and underwear which is great and then so oh and then a hair bow that'll be pretty so then the other outfit which i was actually really excited about okay so it has two little pigtail hair ties which is important because the wig that goes with it is already styled in pigtails and then it has this adorable little overall shorts outfit and then a cute little shirt to go underneath it and it's going to be adorable on a penny and then I have, she's in these little oversized Ugg type boots that she's gonna wear with it that's gonna be super cute. And then let's look at the wig. Okay, so much like the other wigs that come with these dolls, the top half is fairly short and then just the little bottom part is in pigtails. And I, I've noticed this with some custom blights as well. It's partly because it's just too much hair for a doll to have that much in a, in a pigtail. And I know this when I'm styling my blithes, let's say that they have too much hair. It's just too much hair to, to put in realistic scale styles, but I just can't bring myself to chop them. <laughs> so now I have a wig that is already that chopped and fixed, and I don't have to feel bad about doing any hacking and chopping. All right, let's go ahead and get Penelope dressed. I might have her try on this wig just for fun. We'll see. Just a quick side note. I was cleaning up and thought I should mention that I typically always keep the wig mesh and the frame and the bag. So if I'm ever swapping out any doll wigs, I have a place to put the one that I'm not using or any other kinds of wigs to keep safe. So that's just a note. All right, so here she is dressed in the purple dress with flowers and the cute little shoes. Everything fits perfectly. I put her wig on and it's just, it feels like it's a teensy weensy too small. Maybe not, I don't know, but it, it fits pretty well. I'm still not sure if I prefer this hair color on her over the pink. Hmm. Well, okay, so here is the light brown. 
so you guys can see her in the light brown. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to put on the pink, and you can tell me which one you like better. Well, here she is in the pink wig, which I actually wound up chopping quite a bit off. It used to go down to probably here, and it was just so unmanageable. So I whacked a bunch off, and I put up part of it in the back. And it's kind of hard with dolls like these to style their hair when it's a wig because if you pull too hard, the whole thing just pops off <laughs> and then you have to start over. So that happened a few times. It even happened when I was trying to trim the wig. So we managed to get it looking all right though, thankfully. I think I prefer the pink over that blonder wig. It just works with her complexion better. I like that. Between the dress and her hair, you see both colors in her eye chips. It just looks really, really cute. She, I, I like her more now with the shorter hair and this dress. She just, it just looks, she's come into her personality more. That's Penelope in her new outfit and look forward to seeing Penny in her little shorts a little bit later in the season. I'm saving that for closer to spring and you guys can see that then. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think and we'll talk with you later. Bye.